My name is Todd McLeod, and uh, I am creating a course on learning the Go programming language. And you can find that course at greatercommons.com. And this is version two of my course. And so there's that course right there. And we just turned Greater Commons on a couple of weeks ago, which is why there are only a few, uh, a few ratings there. But glad to see we're starting to get some students coming through. Greater Commons was created for the greater common good, built... Uh, started by teachers and students, built by teachers and students, owned by teachers and students, for teachers and students. So it's a place where anybody could create a course and, and share it. Anyhow, that's the pitch. <laughs> now you're here because you want to learn the Go programming language. And this new course that I'm creating, here's the outline for it. And I'm really enjoying this version two of the course because in this course, I teach you stuff, and this is what I didn't do enough in my version one course, and then you get all these hands-on exercises. Teach you something, more 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 hands-on exercises. You're starting to see the pattern. Teach you something, more hands-on exercises. Teach you something, more hands-on exercises. Teach you something, more hands-on exercises. So I just finished teaching this section on where we're starting to actually use the Go programming language after learning the fundamentals. And I need to create these hands-on exercises so I figured that while I'm creating these hands-on exercises, I would record this video, and uh, we're going to create these hands-on exercises right here, get some starting code for you know each of the exercises. And so you can kind of see me build that as I build it. So this one, we want starting code so that we can marshal users to JSON. So I'm going to go to the Go Playground, and in the Go Playground, I'm going to need to create a type, and this is a user-defined type. User, and the underlying type will be a struct. And so we'll have users here, and I'll just do first and have it be a string. And then, I don't know, you know, rank. We could do rank and have it be an int. And so we're just storing a rank there. Or maybe we'll do age. That's the, that's the common one. So there's users, and we need to create some users now. And so we'll do uh, user1, colon equal, and then using a composite literal. And a composite literal is where you have the type and curly braces, the type and curly braces. This is type user, uh, user created type. And then inside the curly braces, we're gonna put values. So I'm gonna do the field first. We'll have James as uh, the first name, and then age will be uh, 32. And then we could create some more users here. So we'll have user two, and we'll have user three. And we'll do Moneypenny, Miss Moneypenny. And she's like 27. These are like my standard go-tos. And we'll do M, and she's probably like 54. And now we need a slice of users. So a slice of users is equal to a slice of user. And we put the values there. And you could do it like this, all in one line. And I always include the trailing comma, because when you do it on multiple lines, you got to have that trailing comma. So I just make it a practice to always have the trailing comma. So if a new value needs to get added in, you don't forget the comma. So that's a slice of user right, which is uh, users. And so in the homework assignment, we called it users. And then we're going to print out users. And, uh, and uh, your code goes here. And so that looks like pretty good. I'm going to share that. Format it, run it, share it. And that's good starting code. So they'll take a slice of users. And I need to change that to a slice of user. And uh, the, the student will then put that into JSON. And so that's the starting code, X55. And so with this code, starting with this code, we'll link that. Kapow! Starting with this code, unmarshal the JSON in, into a Go data structure. So we need some JSON. And, uh, and so maybe the easiest way to get JSON is just to take this and marshal it up. And we'll put a couple of other fields in here. We'll do last, and we'll make that a string. And, uh, and there's a little bit of a, um, there's a little bit of a curveball. There's a little bit, there is a little bit of a curveball in this hands-on exercise. Uh, remember to ask yourself what you need to do to export a value from a GoPro, a package, a package. There we go. Good enough. Starting with this code, on Marshall adjacent into the Go data structure. So now we need some JSON. So we'll do uh, first, and we'll do last, and we'll do age, 
and uh, and we'll do um, favorite sayings, sayings, and that'll be a slice of string. And now we have first and age, and we need last bond and uh, sayings. This is going to be a slice of string. So for a slice of strings, we need the composite literal, slice of string, the brackets, and then we put our sayings in here separated by commas. And we can put these onto multiple lines if we want, and we'll put a couple of sayings in for James Bond. And so one will be shaken, not stirred. And the other one will be, uh, what else does James Bond say? This is the hard part. <laughs> this is the hard part. Why, why we're contemplating on that. We'll uh, come fix these up. We'll get these ready to go. And so uh, first name is Miss, and last name is Moneypenny, and, uh, and then a comma, and then we have sayings here for her, and that's a slice of string, and then she's going to have some sayings also. And I, I think we could just kind of populate this like that. Cool. And uh, maybe put in a couple of sayings for Miss Moneypenny. There we go. And we'll give M some sayings. And M needs uh, last. And I, I don't know what M's last name is. So we'll just do hmm for the last name. And then M has some sayings. James Bond quotes. Uh, the best James Bond quotes uh, from Skyfall. My favorite James Bond movie. Skyfall quotes. James Bond. All of this can go away. Uh, bloody big ship, excuse me. You must be joking. That's a good one. Because you still have spots, your competence is, and youth is, youth is no guarantee of innovation. <laughs> I like that one. Youth is no guarantee of innovation. And yeah, let's find one more. Oh, so why do you need me? Or not pulled. It's hard to know which in your pajamas. Well, none of those are really... Uh, shaken, not stirred. You know, in His Majesty's Royal Service. I think that's a famous quote. And Majesty is probably capitalized. And Miss Money Pinning is... Oh, James... You didn't. Dear God, what has James done now? <laughs> and uh, can someone please tell me where James Bond is? <laughs> She's like the parent, you know, and he's the, like, you know, a rebellious teenager. All right. Um, oh, that's M. These would be M's quotes. We're going to put these here for N. And then Miss Moneypenny is, uh, James, it is so good to see you. She has a crush on him. And uh, would you like me to take care of that for you, James? Always little innuendos. And uh, uh, I would really prefer to be a secret agent myself. Cool. And so there are the users, and then print them out, and let's format it and run it. Bam, 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 bam. All kinds of errors. Ex unexpected semicolon or a new line, expecting a comma or curly braces. So we have this opens, and, uh, and then these open, and we have comma, 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 and that needs a comma. The last element in our struct needs a trailing comma. Format it and run it. An undefined string on 30 and 41. 30 sayings, slice of string, lowercase. Dun, 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 dun. And we had that one right there. And there we go. So there's all of our stuff. Now we just need to marshal it. So we're going to marshal this code to JSON. And when we marshal things, we're going to get a byte slice, an error, colon equal, and JSON, marshal. And we pass in users. And then we check our error. If error is not equal to nil, pump.println error. And then we format.println 
our byte slice, and let's just go look at godoc.org forward slash encoding JSON, and make sure we're using Marshall correct. And it takes out, turns a slice of bytes in an error. Sweet. And so let's see what that looks like. So there's our slice of bytes. Let's convert it to a string. Because a string is a slice of bytes. So there is our JSON. That's what we were going for. That's one long chunk of JSON. I'm going to copy that. And uh, we're just going to do, uh, uh, I don't know, s colon equal and raw string literal kapow. So there's our JSON. So I'm going to uh, just make sure, oh, it's going to blow an error because I didn't use s. Got to use every variable and go. So there it is. All right, sweet. I'm going to copy that code. And... Uh, and solution, I'll put here, code setup, not for, just FY, not needed for exercise. There's code setup, and, uh, and then we also have the solution. Sweet, and I'll call this code, code, and this one will be solution, and it'll go there, and this will be like this. Bam. All right, code setup and solution. And uh, I need to uh, uh, get starting with this code. So that's the setup, which is all right there. And I did all of that so that I could get this. And we are format that and run it. And uh, that's your starting with that JSON. We'll call it JSON. Format it, run it. We'll call it JSON. And that's the JSON that you need starting with this code. Unmarshal the JSON into a Go data structure. Sweet. And then we'll do the solution in another video. Starting with this code in code to JSON, how much time has gone by? My video camera only records, records 30 minutes. We're doing all right. Starting with this code in code to JSON, the slice of users sending the results to standard out and... Uh, Hint, you will need to use JSON new encoder. And uh, we'll start with this code. Starting with this code, let's just make sure that's what we want. Bam, 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 done with all that, bam. So starting with that code, we want to encode this straight to standard out. So uh, we'll do here, your code goes here. And that's marshalling it. And so starting with that, encode it to standard out. Share it, format it, run it, share it, copy. Starting with this code. That'll be a fun one. Starting with this code, sort the slice of int and slice of string for each person. So we're going to create a slice of int and a slice of string. And come here, and uh, we'll do a slice of int, colon, equal. Is a slice of int, and that's the raw, that's the composite literal, the type, the curly braces, and then the values. And we'll do a slice of string, colon equal, and a slice of int. And again, oop, this one's gonna be string. Composite literal, here's the type, and then the curly braces where you put your values. I don't know if I said that. That's the type, the curly braces. I might have used the wrong word. Sometimes I do that. I start talking too fast. I think one thing, I say something else. We'll print out the xi, and we'll also print out the XS and uh, sort it, sort it XI, sort XI, and uh, sort XS, and then we'll print it after it's sorted. Living in XS, and then we just need to put some values in here. Cool, and the string.
random rainbow delights in torpedo summers under gallantry fragmented moons cross magenta that is like awesome poetry <laughs> i'm gonna format that random rainbow delights and torpedo sombers under gallantry fragmented moons across it should be across magenta it's like who knows what that means but there's like a certain elegance to it that's our starting code for this one <laughs> all right with this code starting with this code sweet and then the next one is starting with this code, sort the user, slice of user. And I think we'll start with this code again, uh, right there. So we'll pop this open, sort the slice of user. We have last, first, last, age, and sayings. Uh, uh, by last, first, last, we'll do age, last, Also sort each uh, slice of string sayings in each for each user. That's a nice one. Cool. So those are the hands-on exercises. We got to get the starting code. So here's the starting code for that. Nope, that's that torpedo one. Make sure we got that HW. And that one is H. HW, FW, let's just make sure that's torpedoes. Uh, across, magenta, runs, sweet. So we're done with that one. We're done with that one. And then this one, share, format, run, all runs. And uh, we're gonna do some sorting. And uh, print everything out using nice, formatting, print everything out in a way that looks pleasant, using the range clause and in a way that is pleasant. That's some good stuff. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep, I think they'll like that exercise. That one there, that one's going to be a doozy. I was uh, watching Idiocracy last night. I'm going to... Yeah, that's a funny movie. If you haven't seen Idiocracy trailer, it's like totally, it felt like it's so old, but it's only 2006, which maybe that sounds old to you, because maybe you're just like 17 or 14, and that was like right when you were born. But uh, it's a pretty funny movie, and it's pretty short. There's some good chuckles in it, <laughs> some good social commentary. All right, so check out Idiocracy if you haven't seen that. It's a hoot. That's it. So we have all of uh, the code set up for our hands-on exercises. I hope you've enjoyed kind of seeing a little Go programming. And it's always nice just kind of sit back, turn on a video, grab a beer or your beverage of choice and watch somebody code and see how they do it. So I will leave, uh, I will leave you now at the end of this video with 10 seconds of didgeridoo. <laughs> There we go. Go check out that course. If you want to learn Go programming, uh, I'm really proud of the way this course is turning out. And if you happen to speak a foreign language, we have a couple people who are recreating this course that I'm building right now in their own language, their native language. Teachers always teach best to their culture of origin because they have a cultural awareness and understanding and familiarity with the language that, frankly, I would not teach as well in any other language than English because <laughs> I would struggle not only with the language, but also, you know, the spoken language, but also with uh, the cultural nuances. Like my jokes might just fall completely flat, even though some of them do in English. At least I try. All right. So if you're interested in teaching this course in, uh, in another language, shoot me an email or reach out to me on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Todd McLeod. 
and let me know, hey, I'd be interested in teaching intro to Go in whatever language you know. We already have a few people in a few different languages, so I might say, hey, that one's covered. But if, uh, if yours isn't, you can do it. How cool would that be? You could help some people and make a little extra money. That's a win-win all around. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. I have. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.